Hey, welcome to Church Experience. Thank you so much for spending part of your weekend with us. Now's a great time to grab your pens and weeklies and head to your seats if you haven't already, because the service starts in 90 seconds. Welcome to CE Online. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. We are so excited about today's service and we believe this could be the best and most impacting hour of your week. Throughout the service, you may have some questions, comments, or prayer requests. If so, go to churchexperience.tv forward slash connect or pull out your camera app and hit up the QR code to connect with us. Or better yet, if you've always wanted to know what's going on here at CE, just hit that subscribe button right here. We'd love to hear from you and get back to you and be praying for you. We are now ready to dive in. Would you stand with us as we sing some songs of worship to Jesus? I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb. Till I made I was breathing but not alive And all my failures and I tried to hide It was my time Till I made when you call my name and I ran out of that grave, out of the darkness into your glorious day, you call my name and I ran out of that grave, out of 
gospel mystery from the heavens came a savior from the ground arose a king every day is born in darkness every winter yields to Let us speak of resurrection, even in the suffering. You can do anything, you can do anything. My eyes will see your glory, my eyes will see. 
see your glory. You can do anything. You can do anything. My eyes will see your glory. My eyes will see your glory. Sisters beg the Savior. heavens proclaim his righteousness and all people see his glory i will continue to share his story since christ was raised from the dead he cannot die again death no longer has mastery over him my evidence is testimony salvation i am saved from damnation when he died on the cross and then he rose from the tomb it was written by the prophets who passed it down for generations thank god for the valleys and the peaks i had no idea that the resurrection delivered me somebody shared it with me delivered me so i can share it and sing about the dead rising and walking to the living king Yes. 
Expectations bring. Will you welcome resurrection? Will you crown the risen King? Thank you, God. I feel all that we can do right now is thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. And for your love that chased us down. That showed us perfection. And a life that we're meant to live. Next to you. Not apart from you. So God, we thank you for that. Thank you for the sacrifice, the perfect lamb, that now we can live with you. We can experience eternity with you and your perfect love. God, move in our hearts. Flood us with who you are. Thank you so much, Jesus. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. How many glad that Jesus rose on, on, on this early Sunday morning? <laughs> Amen. Anybody glad he rose? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for everyone that's here. We thank you for dying on the cross for us. We thank you for, for bearing our sins, bearing our shame. And we thank you for rising again for us so that we can walk in that power. In Jesus' name that I pray, everybody shout amen. 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 Look at your neighbor and say, it's so glad, good to see you. It's so good to see you. Turn around, show all your teeth, smile at them and say, it's so good to see you. Before starting on today, do we have any first-time guests? Um, any first-time guests? Can you just wave your hands in the air and wave them like you, you just do care? Thank you so much for worshiping with us. Let's make let's give God one more hand clap of praise for them. Yesterday we had our community day and over 400 people were in attendance. Let, see, let's make some noise for that. I'm so excited for what God is doing. Um, we celebrate our, our worship team, celebrate all the people, um, the sir, every sir team that helped out um, um, between today and, and yesterday. Let's give God a hand clap of praise for everybody, everybody who serves. Everybody who serves. Come on, we can do, give yourselves a hand clap of praise. Come on. Awesome. Before I get started in the message, before I get started, I got some give, giveaways to give. How many like giveaways? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. My Bible study attendees. The first question. What was the, what is the raise your hand for the people that came in Bible study? The title. Oh man, y'all already raised your hand. Put two hands in the air if you know the title of the, um, what, of the series for Bible study. Two hands in the air. Two hands in the air if you know the title of the series that we're going through this month. Nope. Eh, wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. Y'all give it up for Brother Kevin. You get a gift card. <laughs> Grab it for 
<laughs> close enough, close enough, close enough. All right. All right. Next gift card. How many? Put two hands in the air. If you remember the title of last week's message. Last week's message. Oh. Y'all give it up for <laughs> Come on, y'all. The whole family is going to win. We're going to, all right, McCormick's done. Okay. All right. Let me see. All right. Give me, put two hands in the air. The first person I see, don't get mad now. From one song, if you remember one song from the worship set we just did. If you remember one song, what's up? <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making this easy. I'm making this fair. <laughs> Put two hands in the air if you remember another song. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> okay. Today is a special day. Put two hands in the air if you know what today is. <laughs> I'm going to give it to a first-time guest. I'm going to give it to a first-time guest. What first time guests raise their hand? What's today? Yeah, let, let's give God a <laughs> Awesome, awesome. <laughs> awesome. It's all right to have fun every now and then. <laughs> if you have your Bible, let's go to Luke 24. Luke 24. Verses 1 through 12. I feel like having some fun in here. Luke 24. <laughs> when you have it, say, I've got it. Luke 24, 1 through 12. Let me give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm reading the New International Version. And it says, on the first day of the week. That's a Sunday, y'all. On the first day of the week, very right early in the morning, very early in the morning, the woman took spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes, some translations say two men in shiny clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead. He is not here. He is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. The son of man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners. Be crucified and on the third day, everybody shout third day, be raised again. Then they remember, then they remember, then they remember these words. He said, when they came back to the tomb, they told all, when they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the 11 and all the other disciples. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James. And the others with them who told this to the apostles. It was a, bo a bunch of women that went back and told it. Do y'all believe it? It was a bunch of women. <laughs> but they did not believe the women. They did not believe the women. Because their words seemed like they were nonsense. Uh-oh. Peter, <laughs> however, got up. 
and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the, stri um, the strips of linen lying before themselves, and he went away wondering to himself what had happened. Some translations say he ran away, marveled. He ran away perplexed. The title of today's message is called Tomb Raiders. Tomb Raiders. Tomb Raiders. Everybody shout Tomb Raiders. Tomb Raiders. That's one of my my, my favorite um, 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 movies uh, um, that I, I love to watch. Jesus had just experienced the highlight of his ministry. He just experienced the very peak of his assignment, which is the crucifixion. The crucifixion, I want to tell you, is not a party. It was a, a horrible set of circumstances that Jesus Christ had to endure. It was a form of capital punishment. He was beaten. He was bruised. bruised. He had nails in his hand that drilled through his bone. He and flopped down. Had nails in his ankle bones that stood him to an old rugged cross. He was spit on. He was mocked. He was abused. He was rejected. All for us. Jesus knew no sin but was mistreated. Jesus knew no sin, but was mishandled. And we get a lesson. We get a lesson. Not everything that we go through as it relates to our purpose and our assignment is going to be easy. We're going to have to uh, go through uh, some times. Uh, some of us during this season, um, we, we, we felt like you had to cry a whole lot of tears. You said you sometimes this year you might have felt like you had to, to beat the pillow and you might have felt like uh, discouraged on, uh, on every hand. I come to tell you that there is a word from the Lord that he wants to share with us on today. Everybody say preach pastor. There, there, there is a word. There, the, the tomb has rolled. The stone from the tomb is rolled away. So Mary and her homegirls <laughs> decided. <laughs> Mary and her BFF. I'm just imagining them, them going down. They went down and said, okay, we're going to go see the tomb of Jesus. Me and my sisters, me and my, my friends, and we're going to take some cologne. We're going to take some spices because we want to make sure Jesus smells good. It had been three days, so they were just doing what was normal during the time. It didn't, Jesus' body, if, he, if this was natural circumstances, it wouldn't have smelled Good. They didn't, they didn't have the, the chemicals and, and the enhancers that we have of today. So Mary and the, her, her crew went down and said, we gonna put some, we're going to put some spices. We're going to put some, um, some particles, some perfume uh, on Jesus so he can smell good. Verse 1 says, They got there. They took out the spices, went to the tomb, and some surprise came up. Some surprises. First, the stone, there was three surprises that took place. The stone was rolled away from the tomb. The second surprise was 
there was no body, no person in the tomb. And the last thing, two men showed up with shiny garments on. So I am sure Mary and her squad is in there freaking totally out. I'm like, I bet she's like, what is this tomb? This, this stone is rolled away. Um, where's Jesus at? And I see angels, uh, two angels appearing before me. That everybody say that's a surprise. This was a hard time for them. They love Jesus. Has anybody ever lost somebody or lost something of value? We all have. Some of us in this season might have lost or uh, lost a relationship or a relationship might have died. Some of us might have lost a career or a, a job opportunity might have deceased. Some of us might have lost or died a dream might have died. An opportunity might have stopped. You were expecting uh, one, one thing and then all of a sudden, a surprise hit you. Surprise. Surprise. Verse 2 says, the angel of the Lord came to him and said, let's Cheer up. Why are you looking? Why are you grieving? Why are you coming down here with spices? <laughs> Why are you looking for the living among the dead? How many times have we tried to do that? We tried to look for life in places that were dead. We tried to look for life in people that didn't have the capacity to, to give life. You won't find life in material things. Somebody shout, shout, ought to shout amen right there. You won't find life in drugs and alcohol. You won't find life in abusive relationships. You won't find life in social media and likes in Twitters and thumbs up and handles. You won't find likes. You won't find life in the club or the party. Stop looking for life in dead places. You won't find it there. The only way that you will find true life is in a real relationship with the Lord. Life, where is life? It's not in the tomb. <laughs> he is risen. Touch your neighbor and say, he is risen. Life is found in Jesus. Life is found in Jesus. The Bible says, in his presence is the fullness of joy. I'm about to get happy up in here. Whatever you need can be found in his presence. I dare when you're going through a, a situation to lift up your hands, give God glory, begin to worship and begin to magnify God and minimize your problems and watch how he pulls you out of that grave. Watch how he pulls you out of that Tomb. Watch how he pulls you out of that dilemma. Everybody shout, you better praise. You better praise. Praise your way out of that grave. I almost started running around this room when they said, you call my name and I ran out of that grave. I almost just, I almost ran up on stage and, and, and high-fived the whole worship team and did Y'all never been to the football games? I don't know if they do it now. They used to do the wave. 
I almost wanted to say, I almost wanted to do a wave doing worship service right here when they did. I almost did like this. And, and, I mean, I was that excited, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, praise, praise your way out. The enemy wants you to be busted, disgusted, stressed. But there was already uh, a promise that was spoken over your life. The enemy, your enemies left you for dead. <laughs> Your enemies left you hanging. But I'm so glad the Bible says he'll never leave us, uh, nor will he uh, forsake us. So there might have been uh, some people, uh, there might have been some friends, uh, there may have been some family members that might have left you high and dry, but Jesus will never leave you. Jesus. Jesus won't leave you high and dry. Jesus won't leave you <laughs> leave you hanging. Luke 24 verse verse 3 it says come on it says but when they entered the tomb they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus while they were wondering about this two men <laughs> Two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood before them. Shining. Angels appeared before them. These group of women, they had already received the, that the word that the Lord was going to rise again in three days. The angel had to remind them. Some of us have forgot the word that God has already spoken over our lives. Woo! And we are grieving over things that we should be shouting over. Some of us are crying when we should be celebrating and rejoicing because his promises are yes and amen. And it took an angel, it took two men of God to come and as a, send a reminder, I come as your angel on today to remind you, hallelujah, that Jesus is alive. What he said concerning your life, it will come to pass. His word shall not return unto him void. What is an angel? I'm glad you asked church experience. An angel is a messenger of God. I come as your messenger of God. I come as your crazy preacher on today. That weeping may endure for a night, but wake up. Joy is coming in the morning. That night season, you got to come out of that grave. You're going to have to come out of that addiction. You're going to have to come out of that poverty. That tomb is, that stone is rolling away. There's a word already in progress. You cannot have spiritual amnesia. <laughs> you cannot have, what is amnesia? That is a term. Where you forget everything. You can't have spiritual amnesia. You can't forget what the Lord. I wish I had somebody to help me push the preacher. Hallelujah. You can't forget forget what God has already done for you. He had already done over 39 miracles. The same God that did it before is the same God that will do it now. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Some of us forget when we go through situations. God, you there. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you there with me. At the mountaintops, you with me. 
God, let me keep my faith strong because I know you're there. Ooh, there's a what? You just have to believe what God says. Everybody say, I believe God. Now, there will always be an attack on your faith. <laughs> you will never outgrow that. With every level, there will be some, uh, with every opposition, with every opportunity, I'm sorry, there will be some level of opposition that will come against you. The testing of our faith is designed to give us not pain, but patience. We're supposed to let patience have, have its, have its perfect work. We can't remember, we can't forget what God has done for us. God is still performing miracles. Okay, all right, that was about four people that said amen. God is still performing miracles. Okay, I, I, that's a little bit better church experience. The sun, I woke up this morning, I went outside, and I saw the sun. I woke up this morning, my eyelids slid open, and I didn't, I couldn't do it myself. Okay, okay, y'all quiet in here. I woke up this morning, and I was able to inhale and exhale, and it could have been. That's a whole miracle. If you want to see what a miracle looks like, you can look at me. Let's point yourself and say, I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle. I'm a, I'm a miracle. If you don't believe it, just, just lay hands on yourself. Point to yourself and say, I'm a miracle. He put food on my table. He gave me jobs I didn't qualify for. He put shoes on my feet. He put roof over my head. He, he, he been so good, I can't even tell it all. Anybody blessed that you can't even you can't even count you can't even count all the the blessings that God it would take you all day all year all month to try to figure out how many times how good is God to tell how good God's been to you all right so these women <laughs> get to get to tomb all the women in the room make some noise. I was, I was picking on the women earlier a little bit, Lindsay, but at least they went down there <laughs> with some spices and, you know, the, 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 to check on Jesus. The disciples were back there at the house talking. At least they, <laughs> but that's, that's all right. That, that just shows we need a lot of women in our lives. Amen. We need, we need strong women. Amen. We celebrate the women. Amen. <laughs> Men, don't roll your eyes. <laughs> you need one. You need one. <laughs> Glory to God. So, <laughs> y'all are so crazy. Y'all are so crazy. <laughs> I'm going to try not to laugh at y'all, but that's okay. That's okay. Verse 9. I got to get the preacher. Verse 9. The 10 reads, it says, When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the men. They told all these things to the eleven. And all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and the others with them that told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women, but their words seemed like nonsense. And this is right here. We need to follow the women's example. We need to tell everybody the gospel. We need to tell everybody that he is risen. Come on. Yes, we need to tell everybody he is risen. Because he died for us, we must live for him. The Bible says, present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable. That's our that's our reasonable service. You're talking about a living sacrifice? 
that's what war. That was the ultimate sacrifice right there that Jesus did on that cross. We should be willing to live for him. If you believe that, shout amen. He died for us. <laughs> so we should live for him. Closing. Verse 12 reads. <laughs> it's funny. They went back. They told, the women told the men, all the Marys. We got a few Marys in this room. Here. <laughs> got a couple. All the Marys told the men. Only one of them went and said, which was Peter. He said, he went down and said, however, he said he's got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen by themselves. And he went away wondering. I'm closing here. I'm calling the worship team. God is a God, even though the other men didn't come at first. This is a word right here. Catch this. God is a God of another chance. <laughs> they missed it the first time. I, you notice I didn't say he's the God of a second chance. <laughs> if he was just the God of a second chance, many of us would have been ran out. But he gives us chance after chance after chance. Come on. After chance. When he endured those lashings, that was a chance. When you made that mistake, that was a chance. When you were lowering your faith, that was a chance.
team comes forward to receive our tithes and offerings and response cards, here are a few important things happening with our CE family. Whether you're new to church experience or have been attending for a while, you're invited to join us for Growth Class. Growth Class will equip you with the steps you need to take to experience more in your walk with Jesus and help you get more connected within the CE family. Lunch and child care will be provided. Register now to let us know you're interested in attending the next growth class on Sunday, April 16th by writing growth class on your response card. As our ushers come forward to collect our response cards and receive our tithes and offerings, through your faithful giving, we are making an internal impact in our communities, passing on our faith to the next generation and helping more people hear the life-giving message of Jesus. When God's people are faithful with giving him their tithes and offerings through his church, many lives are forever changed. If you're interested in setting up automatic reoccurring giving, you can do that right now on the Church Experience website or app. Your reoccurring financial gift allows our church family to make a reoccurring impact in individual lives and share the gospel week in and week out. Thank you for being on mission with us to help more people experience a full life in Jesus Christ.
your sting Conquered by the King Resurrected One Shining like the sun Breaking through the fear Victory is here, victory is here worshiping and learning with you you may have made a commitment during the service today and if so we'd love to have you reach out and let us know if you have any questions comments prayer requests go to churchexperience.tv forward slash connect or scan the qr code on the screen want to get even more connected if so check out our ce social media instagram facebook website or app and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here what a great day it's been can't wait to see you again next week